Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be taking a look at an introduction to React prop in React.js. So if you guys are new to React, you guys may find this video really helpful, but also applicable to all the people who want to learn React. Because React is kind, React props is a little bit of a complicating topic in React. So we want to build, uh, we want to be building this project, a user card project, where we'll be able to dynamically render data from arrays, from objects onto the web page. Also, we won't be uh, we won't be focusing on the UI much. Might not be looking that good, but we'll be rendering data dynamically from React. So let's get started. So in order to get started with React, you wanna get all the React dependencies and files installed. So what you want to do is create a React app. So go into your terminal and start typing npx create React app just like that, and create the app by mentioning the name of the app that you want to render so react prop is the name and create react app is a command and npx, npx is the module that we are going to be using in order to create the react app so once you click on enter it's going to create all the files and dependencies you need i've already got that so right here once you finish everything you will be seeing every little node module public folder source folder get ignore everything so what you want to do is you want to delete the source folder and then create a source folder so we're going to be doing it from scratch so inside the source folder you want to create some two main parts so it's going to be index.js and app.js In, inside the index.js we want to import react from react and then we want to import react dom from react dom in order to render some elements and components of the dom so i'm going to put react dom dot render and just for now we're going to be rendering out an app which we're going to be doing right now so we're going to render that to um, the root which is in the public folder right here if you go to public inside index.html you guys can see a div with an idea of root so that's exactly where we're going to be rendering it so we are rendering the app but we don't know where the app is coming from so right here i'll say import app from dot slash which is right inside here so i'll say app.js so we'll be going inside app.js and creating the components in order to render some data so i'll create import react from react and then we're only using functional components so i'll say const app equals to an arrow function and i'm going to be returning just hello and you also want to export default so it will be exported to index.js and we can get it out from there so i'm going to be opening up my terminal in order to run the website the react file so I'll say npm start, which is going to live, get the live server up and running. Uh, if this pops up, just say yes, because it's multiple uh, React apps running. So this is 303, this is 302. As you guys can see, hello is rendered from our app.js. So that's not what we want to do. We want to make a user's application. So instead of uh, returning hello, I'm going to be returning a component which is going to be users. I'm going to be saying return users and we're going to be creating the users. So if we go to our source, I'm going to be creating a folder called components and inside that I'll be creating a folder called users with a capital U and we'll be creating users.jsx and also a users.cass and also inside the components we also want to create another folder which is user it's going to be the individual user user.jsx and user.css and then inside the app.js we have rendered the users but as i told before we don't know where the users is coming from components 
So from the components, we are going to be rendering out the users. So go into the users folder and say user users.jsx. So users.jsx. So guys, dot jsx. So if I go to users.jsx, we also want to do the same thing in users.jsx as well. We want to import React from React and then you want to make a functional component called users and in, outside this we want to export default users so it will be getting uh, passed on to the users so inside users.jsx guys we want to make an array with some objects so I'll go ahead and copy this and get back with you guys. So I have this array with some objects and these are some names and ages and work, the occupation and some random stuff. So inside of users, we want to return user, which is going to be the individual user. So I'll say return the user component. So where will we get the user from? We'll be getting it from the user component. So we'll say import user from dot from dot, dot slash users user slash user dot jsx. So it's actually passed in the user. So I'll go to user dot jsx. I'll do the same thing. Import it from React and I'll make another functional component called user and then I'll export it as we usually do for all the components therefore it's passed on to user.jsx so how do we actually handle props so as you guys can see in the users.jsx we have all the data but we cannot copy this and paste it in all the components that we need to use so as you guys can see, we are rendering out the user component right here in users.jsx. So we can make use of this by passing in some props. So as in HTML, we have attributes such as classes, IDs, like when we use this, we put uh, the style property and we could use curly brackets in React in order to pass on styles and stuff like that. We could use to pass out props as well. So here, I'm going to be putting uh, um, info and equals to curly brackets and I'm going to be passing in the data. So as you guys can see, it's passed on. So we're going to use it JS and get in the data that's passed on. So how do you get it? You put inside the brackets of the functional component, even though it's a classful component, you could pass it on inside the brackets. So I'll say props inside the brackets and you could get the prop property values inside of the user component so I'll return just uh, h1 with some of the values inside the props so um, I'll see name and I'll put curly brackets in order to get the uh, data from the props so I'll say props and we call it from info so I'll say props dot info and we had name and I'll say so we are passing on all four values we only want the first one so I'll say zeroth value as you guys can see it's showing, showing my name but what if you want to show multiple different values so, and so what one thing you could do is put the brackets and I'll create a div inside this I'm going to be passing in the user component just like that so we just don't want to just statically put the user component I want to map it out to all of these values so what I want to do is I want to say data dot map if you guys are not used to map I actually made a video on that I'll leave a link to it in the description if you guys are interested we we'll put map and then I'm going to give a name to each and every one of them which is going to be info and also we want the i that is in inside it and we want to get that and then you want to pass on the user component 
and also passing the values as well so I'll say user data will be equal to the info and also we're going to pass in a key value for each and every one of react components that are being masked on passed on sorry so we have the i which is going to be counter and that's going to have a unique value for each and every item or an object so we could get the values through user.jsx so props.info.name should be replaced with props.userdata.info and so if I go ahead and do that props.userdata.info and we are not just getting the normal info we are getting the name as well so I go ahead and check info is not defined okay get him some errors and go check what's wrong so this is the info that we are passing in mm. so inside this we should not put info because we are already passing in the info as the value to the user data so now we do take a look it says ex expected an assignment which is going to be live 15 in user.jsx just right here so we want to map it out to each and every info and then the user data so if we do take a look it's going to say uh, four of the names so we don't only want the name we also want the age and all those kind of stuff so I'll copy this and get this inside the brackets and also I'm going to be using react dot fragment here uh, just similar to a div but you could use this as well so use it h3 I'm going to be saying the age I'll say props dot user data dot age as you guys can see it's dynamically rendered here and also we put work so I'll put that inside the span Uh, props dot user data dot work so as you guys can see the project is like fully built we are dynamically rendering the data the only problem is the styling which we are not going to be focusing on in this video so it's dynamically rendering all the data from the user dot jsx as we are mapping it out through the info and the i we are passing in the key to each and every video um, user component and we're also passing a, a key value and also the user data which is being passed on to user and we are getting that through props and then we're getting the user data and the values that are stored right here in this object that's about for the video guys hope you found this helpful and I'll see you guys next time